most delectable. Your dream. <laughs> and yours. There's only one left. I wonder, what does a high summoner dream of? Smell a dream on the second floor. dream worthy of a high summoner. Let us see. Ah, this is most... quite a mouthful. How could it be so big. This is bad. I can't absorb it all. I eat any more, I'll burst. Makes me wonder exactly what all Yuna was eating. Unless it was Titus. In which case, I personally don't need to see that. Canis Major. Get away from me. I swear I'll bite you. Those hands better not go, go. Better not be going anywhere I think they are. Stop that. Don't touch me. Enough. I'm horribly ticklish. Ugh, I'm starving. Uh, just a little something to eat, even just a morsel. What's this then? Food? Food? Where? Like I could have it. I'm just a fiend. But the smell, I can barely contain myself. Uh, is there nothing fun to do? So bored. Bored, 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 bored. I can barely stand it. You'll play with me? Don't bother, it's too embarrassing. Uh, Stop it! Don't tickle me! I'm way too sensitive. It's too much, but so fun. Come on, Shinra. Play with me. Hey, why not? Busy? Busy? Are you sure? Alright, I have no choice but to call the boss. Boss! Hey boss, will you take me for a walk? Please, pretty please. Oh, crap. Canis Major doesn't have the thing. 
He's one level too short. Well, poop. No, no life reading. Fiend has been reborn. Age thought to be about 10. It seems to have acquired linguistic capabilities. It says it's an envoy from the Fiend world, but it's just a kid. This Fiend is from the Fiend world. It's a place located between Spira and the Far Plane. It's building up power. Could it be preparing to evolve again? I checked the ancient text and found a legend that tells of a fiend world between Spira and the Far Plane. This fiend is a rare species called an envoy from the fiend world. It appears to have awoken for some purpose. Not yet. Hmm? Is it finished? It looks like it perished. Small folk. So you were the arbitrator of this world. Something weird's coming out. Hold on. What does that mean, arbitrator? Now, if you were in the situation, she would, you know, think and... I'll handle this. My name is Shinra of the Goldwings. I represent Spira. Prove your metal. Raise my powers. Jockey. Okay, well. Space for three, so we might as well gather a couple. So we're gonna go Moon Flow. I will use let's see, do I wanna use this one? Does not look like I need it for anything else right now, so yes. There it is. Bada bara. Alright, so there's one. Press that one off. And now we're going back to Makalania. And this other mediums. Bryos. And one more medium here. Dinictus. Dinictus. Swoot. Alright, and we will return. We have returned for more story time. Dinictus. I first met him at a Blitzfall tournament two years ago. I said hello to him as he was staring intensely at the ocean right before a game. Any topic he threw at him, he responded in the same nervous voice, I'll do my best. The fifth time he said it, we both burst into laughter. I guess I became his fan because I wanted to see that smile again. After the tournament, the Orox were mobbed by fans. I looked around for him, but no luck. I waited at the same spot on the docks hoping to meet him as his ship left for Besaid. Might have been fate, but he came just before I left. We got to talking again. As the ship called the or as the ship departed, he called out, keep rooting for us. His voice almost sounded a little sad. Wish I could hear his voice just once more. I visited Besaid several weeks later. Showing me around the island, he seemed happy, embarrassed, and confused. The sun reflected off the ocean differently than in Luca. He told me that he loved his little island. That was our first date, I suppose. Seeing him practice there on the sunny beach, I slowly grew more and more fond of him. We promised to meet each other again at the same spot in Luca when the next tournament took place. But I became a fiend before that. 
Two years have passed since then. Tournaments have come and gone, but the Aurochs remain as popular as ever. So many pretty young girls chasing him, you sure they must have forgotten about me by now, right? I heard the Aurochs were holding a training camp here. So why did I come here? I can't possibly remember our promise. Oh. The Aurochs were just as I had remembered them. I felt so nostalgic. And sad. It felt as if I could just vanish right there and then. But at that moment, I thought that I heard a voice. His voice. Yep, it was Boda. Hey! Will it be a heartbreak shot again this year? Here. Off that Beckham shot. I'd like to see her again. Not a heartbreak shot, but a heartful shot. Thirty years later, what is retirement match? It is said that in the stands was the same girl who was there on that day long ago. Doo -doo -doo -doo. Oops, forgot to mark that one off. It's done. Arios. This is a long time ago now, but I used to be an engineer in Bavel. I was in my workshop all day and night with schematics, creating one innovation after another. One of my proudest achievements is the gondola that you used to ride the shoe puff on the moon flow. It took me three years to invent that. I still remember the happy faces of the high pillow when I brought it. Did I invent anything else? Of course. In fact, there's one that I consider my magnum opus. And that's the lifts flying around in, inside Yevon headquarters. An ideal mode of transport, is it not? The bigwigs over at the temple were so thrilled when it was completed, I was on cloud nine. And truth be told, there are some things I invented that I'm not too proud of. I built terrible weapons like yaks and yaws, all in the name of keeping Babel safe. One day, one of the mechs I built went berserk due to a design flaw. I had forgotten how to stop them, and the wild mech slaughtered my team before escaping. Some story, right? My friends all killed by something I created. I've never built any weapons since. Listen to this, I got a job request. A little bit of a rush job, mind you. Someone I know in Mabel has been trapped in a passageway due to mechanical problems, so they need me to fix it. That area is right around where I used to work. Don't worry, I won't mess up this time. I must say I'm pretty excited. I haven't gotten many requests after, you know, becoming a fiend. So what do you think of my invention, Mr. Rescue? It's great. Your inventions are always so useful. What's that sound? Help. Why is Hell of Zero's malfunctioning? It's that Berserk Machine Soldier I built way back when. 
Intruder. Eliminate. Things I'm wandering around here all this time. It's time for a showdown with my past. Everyone, it'll be alright. Stay behind me. I'll terminate his routine. Or. Just in case of these types of incidents. And installed an emergency shutdown switch here. Way to go, genius inventor. That one was touch and go for a while. I'm gonna keep inventing anyway. And I won't create destructive weapons like I did in my human days. That one, my inventions will only help others, not hurt them. <laughs> Medium take. Get a total of four mediums. Alright, Canis Major. Oh, yeah, I already read all yours. I just need to release you so we can view your story. Mr. Ticklish wants to go for a walk, doggo. Yes! A stroll with the boss. I'm so happy. Ugh. I don't want to go back there. I might have to, but I don't want to. What fun stuff should I do today? I can't stay still. The fact that it's getting outran by Shinra is impressive. Hey boss, where are you going? What's going on, boss? Oh, I get it. Hide and seek, right? Tag. Alright then. But the boss didn't come back. Aw, come on, boss. Didn't even say goodbye. Alright, Alavara. Good for nothing like me was somehow chosen to represent my kind at a peace conference with other species. So I've been on a journey of self-improvement, trying to become a strong fiend worthy of representing his kind. So how do I look? Can't recognize me, can you? Now I can serve with pride. Let's do this. We're a little nervous, but ready to head to the Calmlands for a peace conference. <laughs> After being chosen to be the representative at the peace conference, I finally arrived at the Calmlands. It was quite a long trip. I wonder what the peace conference will be like. Well, uh oh. Ugh, are they waiting for me? I have to hurry. <laughs> I'm so sorry I was late. Um, did I keep you waiting? 
No matter, we must all cooperate we're here to bring peace between our kinds. Such an important goal is worth waiting a short while for. How many days are we expected to wait? This is some assignment. Hey, alert the main force. Tell them the survivor has arrived. Understood. Then prepare for the peace conference. Thought that we had made it but through the peace conference safely. What is this? What happened? How horrible. How could... What happened here? Thought we were supposed to stop fighting each other and coexist. I throw those words right back at you. Use the lull brought on by a false piece to launch a sneak attack. Despicable. <laughs> Just as I thought they've started to fight each other. Saves us a lot of hassle. Yup. Let's sit back and watch the fiends kill each other. Because, you know, humans are useless pieces of shit. Don't be fooled. The culprits are the ones hiding over there. This conference was a lie. You were all tricked. So that you would exterminate us, fiends. It's late for you to realize. What can you possibly do now? Damn you. You also had a peace conference just to deceive us. Yes, both of your kinds were caught off guard by the peace talks. Thanks to that, we were able to easily dispose of these filthy fiends. You will all perish together. I won't accept mutual destruction. We must aim for mutual survival. Stupid Yemenites. Extracting vengeance through teamwork, calm Avengers have entered the Fiend Arena. <laughs> Lastly, Jahi. Final form of the Fiend World Ambassador. Training this Fiend will let me recognize the Spirit's representative. Still no response. I have to be patient. They're testing me. Fiend world is the world ruled by fiends that was sealed off from spirit long ago. There has to be a reason why it's resurfacing after all these years. So I still don't know why I was chosen by them. Still so many mysteries to be solved, but I'll get to the bottom of every single one of them. Summoned by a fiend. Go, go, go wings. Fight, fight, go wings. Huh? Time has come. The time for arbitration. The evolution is complete. Begin arbitration. Let's not lose our nerve here. Why have you come here, Two Spira? As times in the worlds of humans and fiends were still connected, both humans and fiends lived peacefully without violating each other's boundaries. That age of coexistence came to an abrupt end. One who would disturb the established peace appeared. A rebel. The rebel invaded the human world and schemed to put humans and fiends at odds. So we sealed the path between the two worlds and cut our ties with humans. Fiends that were left behind at the time are the ones you see today. This was thousands of years ago. Only a short time in the minds of fiends. By now having spanned that time, humans and fiends will reconcile. Looks like we're getting to the heart of the matter. Fiend Rebel still holds ground in Spira. It's a token of peace between our kinds. And the traitors rebel over to us. That is our request. And it's a nice convenient deal for you guys, isn't it? Humans and fiends can't coexist peacefully at this point anyway. There's no point in even negotiating with you. Humans have changed. Fiends do not change.
and the traitor over to us. Showing their true colors, finally. When the traitor appears, we shall return. So shady. How could they even think we'd trust them? There are really no hints to work off of either. Mission time. Capture the Fiend Traitor. Capture the Fiend that rebelled against the Fiend World. There is no data about its appearance. Just look for shady fiends. Crap featured. First one we're going for. Goes a temple medium. After releasing Jahi, Tomb becomes available for capture. That is the traitor fiend. Next on the list, let's see what the picking is done. So we're going to Oh, nope, I needed five mediums. Eh, no, I guess I can use a special. Alright, so we're going to Pavel. There's the Yak 62. Detonator. Detonator wasn't supposed to be available until chapter 5. Uh, hold on to chapter 5. Pavel. Yeah, Detonator's supposed to be a chapter 5 thing. Okie dokie. There's the Gao 71. Hopefully get Baron. Yes. Alrighty. So that's it for the capture phase. So now it's time for the battle phase. Baron. I am a warrior of the Sharp Order. Forgive my directness, but might you know something of a text known as a Bushido Magnet? There are four such volumes that hold secrets of Bushido that have been passed down our order for generations. But to our great shame, they have all been stolen from us. Only the leader of the order, the Chieftain, is privy to the secrets in the manuals. I have been charged by the Chieftain to capture the thieves and retrieve all the manuals. I've recovered the first volume. I arrested it from the leader of the Flan Brigands, Hellfire Flan Rojo. He was a fierce opponent who had mastery over fire. Three volumes remain. Second volume has been retrieved. Guillotine Gemini, leader of the Iron Giants, had it. His skill with his giant sword made him a formidable opponent. Two volumes remain. The third volume has been retrieved. This one was being held by Kamikaze Cactor of the Cactuar Assassins. He ran like the wind with slicing attacks like a butterfly's wings. Only one volume remains. Like 
I had to sneeze. But it didn't happen. It appears I finally made it to the location of the final Bushido manual. So far, I have retrieved three manuals. Comes from Hellfire Flan Rojo. The second from Guillotine Gemini. And that third from Kamikaze Katua. They were all formidable opponents. That is where they say the fourth and final Bushido medal is being kept. This long journey of battle is nearing its end. I must fight to my last breath to retrieve it, no matter who or what stands before me. I go for us. Chieftain? What is going on here? The Bushido manuals were never stolen to begin with. Why would you do such a thing? The answer lies at the end of our battle. Looks like I have no choice. This ends now. You have grown strong. This is as it should be. I have searched long for one to pass along the Bushido manuals to. I'll take that. You are a worthy successor. This is not... Do not grieve, warrior. I know now the true meaning of Bushido is to find one who will succeed your will. Chieftain! It was here that I succeeded the Chieftain of Bushido and became the 15th Chieftain of our tribe. Having mastered the art of Bushido, the Sharp Order has entered the Fiend Arena. Uh, this must sound really unpleasant. I apologize. So this... start is actually a completely separate day. I got most of the guys leveled up yesterday before I cut the video short. I was just super tired and needed to sleep before I had to go to work. So, I just said, screw it. I'll worry about the rest of that tomorrow, aka today that I'm recording this. And here we are. But, yeah, unfortunately, my sinuses are kind of stuffy this morning. I did eat some spicy stuff to kind of get everything to flow and clear out. And I do apologize if a lot of the snivels and other potential gross things might come through. I'm trying to keep it all covered up, quieted down, be disgustified. For whatever does come through, I do apologize. Anyway, Yao 71. Morning, data overload. The analysis drives are overheating. It's a 1,000 year old guard machina. It's the type they set up as Anarchy Condone, but that's all I've got for now. Mm, still having problems, but nothing is impossible for me. This machina is rare data about Xanarchy inside that we have to access. I'll just have to up the analysis levels. I've decoded part of its memory. There are some rare visuals inside. It appears to be a visual record of Unaleska and Zion. Or Zion. It's Zion. This machina must have been set up to guard Unaleska. Maybe it bore witness some key historical events? I'll have to continue my analysis. I limited my search to just Unaleska, but it's still overloading the system. 1,000 year old record shows her lover Zeon becoming a fate to defeat the first sin. Lovers embrace and Unaleska vows to return safely. Get it now, this machina was set to watch over Unaleska and Zeon. It continued. 
to believe Unaleska's matter returned and waited for her at the dome. Even 1,000 years after she summoned the final Aeon and perished. Security protocols in progress. We will await your return, Lady Unaleska. Run, Jinra. You far surpassed the Machina life expectancy. You've served your purpose. Lady Unaleska has departed for the far plane. She had a good life, protected dutifully by loyal machines. Mr. Makina. Middleist and Zayna. Pleasure to meet you. As you can surely tell, I am a bomb. This may be surprising for you to hear, but I would like to serve mankind to the best of my ability. Yeah, run away controller. Since I'm now a member of the Go Wings, I would like to make my dreams a reality. Oops. I will approach you with any revelations I have to look forward to hearing your frank and honest opinions. I've come up with an idea, everyone. What if you gave me to a child to use as a balloon? A bomb balloon? What a clever idea. My heart is dancing at the very thought. What if it explodes? Just a second. even better idea for you this time. How about using me as a light source? Bomb light doesn't sound explosively wondrous. Or doesn't that sound explosively wondrous? I can barely wait for nightfall. Not happening. One more for you then. You can use my considerable mass as a paperweight. A bomb paperweight. You can become the latest fad throughout Spira. Such style. This puzzle would be good for holding something in place. Jinra's behest, I've decided to restart my life as a fiend. By serving as a waitstone. I now exist solely for the benefit of humans. Huh. Who was that girl you were talking with that other time? Sorry. That was... Uh, that was a tourist. You know, she needed a guide to take her around some historical ruins. Ruins? Then why did you go into the cave at Gagazet? The cave is a sacred site that many summoners used to travel through. Historical, sacred, don't make me laugh. This is not the age of Yevon anymore. What good is there in paying homage to places like that? 
You are a stuck up beep. Ah, so people are just, I cannot just stand idly by. What is that? Oh, is that something you set up to attract customers? Not I. What would you say it's a miracle worthy of a sacred site? Perhaps. <clears throat> Perhaps of being a paperweight will have to wait. Now, to be fair, Saru, you are still a player and still a loser. And your little girly friend there is definitely a stuck up beep. She did have a valid concern about the person you were walking with, but that doesn't excuse the disrespect to paying homage to sacred sites or places of historical value. That's a pretty empty protection. Might take a while to get through. Nothing's impossible for me, though. You rock. D. D. Protection layer 2 cleared. Getting clear, but tougher than expected. Zero. C. Neuro. Sis. Protection layer 3 cleared. Just a little more. I've got this. Shinra. Crit. Shinra. Final layer cleared. Communication should be possible now. What's my name doing in there? And the Goldwings weren't paying attention. I escaped the airship. I had learned a terrible secret. <clears throat> Shinder Seek It, which I learned by coincidence at the arena. But the secret, should it really be revealed? What am I saying? Telling the world about this secret is the reason I deactivated the protection. situation. Touching all machines of this world. Shinner of the Gold Wings is... Oh. Protection is back online. Can't tell anyone now. Alright. Now for Tomb. Fiend has no life readings. Fiend seems to be a key for unlocking something. 
creature is totally unresponsive, so it's impossible to tell if it's living or dead. Right? Ancient characters are written on his body. Hard to decipher. Something about the king's grave? I need to study up more on this ancient language. And that is that for now. But with that, we're not quite done. There is one more fiend that I still need to capture. I'm pretty sure. That is Envy Bell and the Medium. Not you. And it's not you. Oh crap, it's not Babel. Ah, it's Clown Pants. Derp. I screwed up. when I've got another medium sphere. Okay. I've got the medium sphere. Let's try this again in the right area. Oh my Christ. You guys are gonna make me get a freaking special sphere to do this. The thing I'm after is a Lucophila, which is a plant enemy. Uh, all right, I'll be back once again. There we go. Got the stupid thing with the medium. And this is the last thing from chapter three. Now we're going to go to the menu. Arena. Familiar. Party members. Lucophilia. Go there. Go to Megado. Mascot. Accessory. APA. You choose up. There's as much experience as possible. Excuse me. Two, so there's four. 
which that should be all that I need level wise. Who have I looked? Feature history. Yes. Month of double X. Day double X. Sunny. Several days have passed since the going got me. First, I thought they would chop me up and eat me, but I cried every day. Or so I cried every day. But I think I was wrong. They do make me fight every day. It really does a number on my skin. But I'm a little surprised to find a whole new side of me. I actually enjoy fighting. Month unknown. Day unknown. Sunny. Starting to get excited about becoming stronger. Maybe this is the life I'm meant to live. Plus, the going are all very nice to me. But there is one concern that I have. My body. It's embarrassing to even say it. My arms, they just keep getting bigger and bigger. They're like man arms. When I think about it affecting my femininity, I can't sleep at night. Month unknown, day unknown, rain. I've decided last. Or I've decided that femininity no longer matters. Up until now, I wrote down all my thoughts in this diary, but I can't keep doing that. Uh, when matters, what matters is action, not thoughts. So I'll start diving in headfirst from now on. From now on, I'm going to be the hero of my own story. Month X, Day X. Cloud. Are you reading my diary? The diary is sacred text. It shouldn't be read by others, and certainly not in secret. But it's alright. I'm thinking of ending the diary anyway. Spending time with all of you has changed me. It won't be easy, but I think I'm ready to start on a new path. <laughs> Month unknown, day unknown, sunny. I don't leave the gold wings. I'm sure I will face some hardships in the coming days, but I am not afraid. More than anything, I am excited. What wonderful adventures and discoveries await me out there? Saying goodbye to my old self and to this diary. One day, my new path will again converge with yours. I'm pretty sure I missed quite a bit of dialogue there, and I apologize. I am slightly dozing off. Because I am doing this pretty much right after work. It all begins with this first step. My new story. Hmm. At large, I'm going to say don't need. Alright. So if I go to bestiary. I should have a grand total of... 123. Three, so there's 7, 15, 21, 29, 37, 
Okay. Yep. <clears throat> I have got everybody. So with that said, I think that I will actually go ahead and end this here. I will merge this episode with the last one since it is technically picking up where it left off. Not to mention the fact that it was all supposed to be one thing anyway. But I do thank you for hanging out and watching. And I will see you in the next part, which will probably be recorded after I get in a nap. <laughs>